We don't need a pitch clock for Astadio. Oh, he loaded up. Mercedes tattoos it to center. It is gone. There you go. A 3-0 swing. And it's 16 to 4. Well, I'm thinking that probably does it. <laughs> 109.3 miles an hour. And down and now Mercedes. Oh, see now, he threw it Mercedes. That, look, that's from last night. Duffy threw it, your mean Mercedes. The umpires are going to come in and talk it over. We had a feeling this might happen. And Duffy's been thrown out of the game. Oh, my goodness. Tyler Duffy's been thrown out of this game. And here comes Rocco Baldelli. Out to argue, and he's going to be out here pretty soon, too. Rocco is hot, and it did not even hit him. It did not hit Mercedes. It was behind his knees. Mercedes homered on 3-0 last night. The Twins took exception. Hostadio jawed at him. And there goes Rocco Baldelli. Yeah! Tim crushes this ball. He throws the bat. The ball goes flying. It is gone. Two-nothing Sox. The ball was majestic, the bat was a javelin, and the Sox lead. A bomb. That's a high fastball. He gets every bit of it, throws the bat away. Runs, and the Royals tied it. And Maldonado gets right in Anderson's face after Kellum, Keller drills him with the first pitch, and here we go. Well, it's not the first time, and let me give you a disclaimer. I'm not blaming either side, but this is not the first time Tim Anderson has done that on a home run with the Royals, and the Royals have not appreciated it either time. 50. Maxwell's coming in. Bumgarner's yelling at Guerrero. Well, I don't think he liked the way that he left the box. I mean, he hit the ball and popped it up, and he does a 360. Watch him swing and pop it up and do the 360. And that did not sit well with Madison Bumgarner. That's what he thought he should have done something with, and you can see Bumgarner woofing at him. A very intriguing ending to the third inning for the Oakland A's. Jed Lowry appeared to get thrown at maybe a couple of times. And then after making an out flying out, had some words with Jose Altuve. It looks like maybe they're calm words and Altuve trying to let him know, hey, here's the reason. How'd you see it, Blummer? I think Lowry was upset. Obviously, Bo Porter's upset. I think everybody around baseball who was watching this game would understand that Bunting with a seven run lead is a little ridiculous. Go ahead and swing the bat. The Bo Porter trying to fire up the troops. And I think Altuve was over there trying to explain to Jet Larry. He said, hey man, that's just something you do not do in baseball. You're, you're We're ready to go now. Pitch on the way to Ben Davis. A chopper to second. Got to hurry up with it. No play. A base hit. Infield hit on the bunt for Ben Davis. How do you like that? I'll tell you what. From a macho standpoint, a lot of guys won't like that. Nope. To lay down a bunt when everybody's back and get a base hit and ruin a no-hitter will not go well in the fraternity of uh, grown-up baseball players. But this is in oh. the air to right field. Back it goes. Nando has done it again. Fernando Tatis Jr., a grand slam. And the Padres go on top 14-3. to Two home runs, seven RBIs for Fernando Tatis Jr. Unbelievable. Tatis has just hit a grand slam, his second home run of the night. The Padres have a 14-3 lead. 